Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie. I'm a full-time reseller on ThreadUp and Poshmark. Um, my son started preschool today. Ooh, I just saw a fly. And I was able to go to the bins for the first time in a long time, so that was really exciting. I got three huge bags full. I spent $60. I was only there a couple hours. Um, I'm trying to get him to take a nap, so that's why you hear Paw Patrol and see him all over the couch behind me. But I wanted to go ahead and film this before we go pick up my other son from school. So um, I haven't went back through these. I actually did not do like a cart sort in the store. <laughs> there was a lot of people coming in. So I kind of forgot what I got, to be honest. And some of these might be bad buys. I don't know. I really don't. And my throat is a little um, irritated, so that's why I sound like this, in case you're wondering. But, but anyway, $60, three huge, like they're all like this big. Bags full. Well, I mean, you just can't beat it. There's definitely profit to be made. I bought lots of things for people in my family as well, so it wasn't all exactly for retail. But majority of it is there are i know there is a, quite a few things that i picked up with stains knowing that i'm gonna have to work on them to get the stains out so that's something to keep in mind also okay so the first thing i got is this loft dress size 10. it does have sleeves it's like this um snake print pockets it's actually really pretty it has a little tie belt it's really hard to show you right here but it buttons up the front so I liked that and this is something I probably would have bought for three dollars and 89 cents at my regular Goodwill so. the next this is like okay so I think this is going on Poshmark I picked up quite a few like little vintage like 90s trendier pieces for my posh and this is one that was just so fun I don't know I don't know what I'm doing with it I don't know if anybody wants this but I couldn't leave it this is a vintage Walmart employee sweatshirt but like look at it do y'all remember that when Walmart like gave out the stickers the smiley face stickers this is what this reminds me of I don't know how old this is but I can tell just by feeling it that it's old. It says Walmart, better every day. And then the back says store 2436 Eldersburg MD. So like that. I don't know. I don't know if anybody wants this. I'll have to look it up, but I just thought it was pretty neat. So I grabbed it. Um, this is Signature Studio. It's a top. I thought it was a cute like pattern for fall okay this one I was super confused about I've not heard of this brand and I didn't really want to look at it too long because there was a lot of people near me so it's from okay it's whistles brand from Bloomingdale's new attacks it says $210 retail it's a long line tabard knit I don't know it's a little weird I've never heard of the brand whistles or whis is that the brand? whistles yeah whistles I don't know but it was neat so I grabbed it new attacks blaming Dell's $210 heck yeah Um, this is so funny y'all I don't know what I'm doing with these but I could not leave them Somebody wants these. I know they do. These are American Eagle Outfitters, size medium. Wow. Here's the throwback for you. Gauchos. Me and my sister-in-law were just talking about these. Maybe they'll make a comeback. Did you love gauchos? Do you want these? Let me know. Um, okay, I grabbed a few of these. Um... I wouldn't buy these at my regular Goodwill just because this particular line doesn't like sell for that much. So, but this probably literally cost me a dime. <laughs> this is Free People Intimately and this is um, like a shimmery 
crop top bralette type thing. It is very pretty. I like it a lot. It's an extra small, so it would not fit me, but that will probably go on posh. For, I mean, it's a good like bundle item. Okay, this is a Gap denim skirt. I always pick up like Gap denim for some reason. I feel like people like it. I don't know why I pick it up, but I do. <laughs> Bennett, what do you say? Excuse me. Life with boys, man. It's kind of ridiculous how comfortable I've gotten with like people burping and farting and Okay, this is another American Eagle piece. It's like this flowy turtleneck. It is a size small. Super cute. I actually found tons of American Eagle this trip. You like that? Okay. I grabbed this for my niece because it's her size. What? And I think I've mentioned before, my parents have custody of my niece. So whenever I find things for her, I like to grab them just to help them out. And I just love buying her stuff also. So this is from Zara, but how precious. It's so cute. That will be so cute with like a little cardigan this fall for her. So, okay, now a few of these I don't, I, I need to determine if it's men or women. Did you hit your head? Are you okay? All right, be careful, please. I could probably look on the tag and find out. I'm thinking it's men's though, but, and honestly, my husband's probably gonna want this because he's been wanting one of the Levi's trucker jackets for a really long time now. But they're like $100 and unless I'm thrifting it, it's just probably not happening to be honest. <laughs> so, but this one's J. Crew, very similar style. I'm pretty sure it's a men's. Um, I'm a women's medium, so I can try it on. Yeah, it's a little like foxy on me. I, I don't know. I don't know. Do they even sell these for women's? I don't know. Women, women's, women. I'm sorry. Can't talk ever. Lucy, get down, please. Okay, moving on. Next, this was a denim jacket I found. And the brand is not anything I know of. It's just highway jeans. It looks like this. But I think somebody custom painted the back of this. And it is gorgeous. Like, look at that. There was a stain on it. It looks kind of like pen, like ink. I don't know, but it's a medium. It's like a really good oversized boxy fit. So cute. I love this. So that'll go on posh just because of the ink stain. I will try and get it out, but we'll see. Um, okay, this is just a t-shirt I grabbed for myself. It's just threads for thought. It's just like a little burnout type tee. I'm going to tie-dye it, to be honest, with my reverse tie-dye kit. And I just like having loose tees to tuck into my jeans. Um, okay, this is for Poshmark. This is a Def Leppard um, Tordite shirt from 2018. So fun. I always pick up these band tees when I see them because so far I've sold every one I've ever got. <laughs> so that's why I pick them up. Um, this is by Anthropology, which is a newer line, to be honest. It's just like the short sleeve sweater. It's a good, like, fall color, though. I think there was, like, a tiny snag I was going to try to work on. Yeah. But that's super easy. It just needs cut. Um, okay, this is one. This is a little girl's jacket that I'm going to send a thread up. It was just so cute, I think. I can make a few dollars on it. It's by Copper Key. So I'll just be sending that in. Um, I don't know this brand. It's called Gaze, but it was just a crop top sweater. I think I have another one of those. Yeah. This one's inside out. 
Okay, same thing though. It's just like a maroon color. Crop top sweater. Like I mentioned before, I looked at the like statistics on who's buying on Thread Up and it's mostly younger people. So I'm trying to cater to what they wear. And a lot of younger people wear a lot of crop tops. Um, these are just some shorts I grabbed for my son. Okay, next bag. So as you can see so far, I very easily could make my $60 back. Oh, I have one more. I don't know this brand, but I feel like I've heard of it and I think it's a good brand. It's John Galt, G-A-L-T, California. But this is just like a tee, like one of those little muscle tank top tees. Okay, this one I stared at for way too long and then I realized I'm looking at this item too long and I need to move it along. So I just grabbed it because of how lightweight it is. I think it needs some work. It's this Rebecca Taylor 100% silk blouse. It's so like dainty. I mean, I probably literally paid a quarter for this, if even. I don't even know what this would weigh. But I was so worried about holes being in it. So I have to give that a really thorough look. And like, there was like some stuff that needs cut. Okay, this one was really, oh no, this isn't it. Okay, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself here. This is another one that might go to my husband. It's another J. Crew. It's like a, one of these sweaters. I don't know. I just think it'd be really cute this fall. If not, my consignment store has started taking men's items. So that's like my new outlet for all the men's stuff I pick up. Because normally I haven't been doing anything with it because I don't know what to do with it. But I might consider taking it there. This is just another graphic tee I bought for Poshmark. I thought my kids would like to look at this t-shirt. It's way too big for them. <laughs> you want to look at it? Okay, come over here. You can look at it. They're obsessed with Mario, so I just knew they were going to want to look at all the characters on there. You like that? Yeah, Easton's going to think that's so cool, too. I guess my son could sleep in it or something. Okay, this is a BB Dakota like sweater cardigan jacket thing. Super cute and fall. You know. Um, let's see, what's this one? This is this was a new with Tag Maurice's um sweater dress. Maurice sells on Thread App. It's so crazy. I didn't even I honestly really don't know that brand. I've seen the stores. It's kind. It kind of reminds me of like a Kato. I don't know if they're on the same scale or not, but that's what it reminds me of. But every Maurice's piece I've seen in the thread up has sold, so I guess it has a following or something. I don't know. Um, this is just a J. Crew factory top. I just thought it was kind of cute. Yes. yes. Mama. Yeah. Mama. Oh, you want me to wear it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that. Okay, this is a brand I do not know. I don't know what it is. I was going to ask my brother about it because it says it's made in Seattle, Washington, and he lives in Seattle, but it's called Beyond, and it is my brother and my husband's size, so, you know, if it's nothing good, then they can just have a... But this one's just like a little three-fourth sleeve. And then there was another one that went with that. I'll have to find it. Okay, this is weird. But I grabbed these Vans socks there. <laughs> I've never bought socks with the Vans. But I was like, I mean, that's like, or like $10 to $15 new. So, maybe I'm getting too weird with it. I don't know. Okay, this is American Eagle cardigan. This is very similar to the one I recently bought, but this one doesn't have fringe. But like this long length cardigan. Um, let's see. This is, I'm pretty sure this is free. Yeah, this is a free people. 
like dress. Uh, okay, these are for my husband. They're just some Reebok shorts. My husband lives in like athletic wear and like casual clothing, so <laughs> can never have enough. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is a Calvin Klein jacket. This should be pretty well on thread up. Um, let's see. I wanted to see what size these were to determine if my husband was getting them or not. <laughs> okay, I don't know the size on these. These are a pair of Gymshark um, men's shorts. They do have something all over them that I have to clean up kind of disgusting okay all right this is another one of those beyond pieces this is like a jacket full zip it feels really nice I'm not you know I picked it up immediately thinking it was beyond yoga but I don't unless this is their men's line I don't know I really don't know we'll have to look into that more oh my gosh I swear y'all I find Look, I tell her not to get on the couch, so she gets on a pillow. <sighs> I find JoJo Sea Wall stuff every time I go to the bins, and I sell it every time. I do have a pair of these, like, sequence pants from JoJo's Closet on thread up right now. And to be honest, they're priced incredibly low. The um, comps on Macari are like 40 to $45 and I'm gonna make like $3 on thread up. So there, I think I'm about to reclaim them like today or tomorrow and I'm just gonna list them over there. And I'll, I guess I'll list this also. This is like the whole suit. I felt like this would be really good to get, especially for like Halloween coming up. Yes, dear. Oh, you want that? A child wants every commercial that comes on TV. Every single one. Okay, these are a pair of blank NYC jeans. Mama. Mama. Yes, you want the Barbie dream house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so these are like a flare. I was going to see if they said what they were. No. Okay. This needs some work. Definitely a sweater shaver and cleaned. It's just a Banana Republic factory jacket. Yeah, I definitely gotta do some laundry today. Um, this is another just t-shirt I grabbed for myself. I literally live in just basic t-shirts. Okay, so these I grabbed. I, I looked up her multiple times, but somebody threw them back in. So I'm like, what's wrong with these? I don't know. Maybe it's the scratches is why they threw them back in. But they're just these pair of born boots. Maybe that was, I don't know. I maybe should have thrown them back in too. I need to look over them really good. Okay, last bag. Okay, here's the thing that I thought was really fun. And I saw somebody um, look at it and put it back. Oh, you like that? Okay. But I don't know. I don't know if there's a market for this. But if there's not, I'll keep it because I really like it. It's just this, like, vintage-looking UCLA sweatshirt. It's, like, embroidered. It feels vintage, to be honest. Yes, dear. Made in the USA. You want Ho Ho to bring that? Ho Ho, that's Santa. Okay. Next is this Smart Wool. I think this is a good brand. Again, I don't know. I haven't looked it up, but I feel like I've heard of this Smart Wool. But it's like this jacket. You like that too? I grabbed this for my son. It's just this um, polo. Ralph Lauren polo. Polo. <laughs> um, I grabbed this because it's cute. It's a brand called Esley. Easley? Esley? I don't know. 
grab these for my niece, just a pair of Baby Gap jeggings. Also grabbed her these random bows I found. Um, what are you? This is RBX, which I believe is sold at like TJ Maxx, but it was this really cool like textured um, like mock neck pullover thing. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. I do not know what this is. It's so crazy, y'all. Why did I buy this? I don't even know. I'm going to send it in the thread up though. <laughs> Okay, right? Oh, but it's like a whole jumpsuit. It's a mood for sure. Wow. All right, this is a Forever 21 plus size, like blazer. This is like another I don't know what the Wendy, the Wendy Williams collection. I'm not sure what that is. Sounds like something sold on QVC, but who knows? That's like this burnout thin like dress. It's like a tank top. I actually really like it. You can see the colors. It's like black and like coppery. Um, again, this is just something I grabbed for my son. It's just a Cat and Jack sweatshirt. You cannot be grabbing stuff for your kids at the bins because it's so cheap. And um, this is something I'm going to try out. It's an Abercrombie & Fitch, like, little yeah. t-shirt. I just liked the color a lot. So, I thought I would try to send it in there. I don't know what I'll make off Abercrombie & Fitch, but we'll see. This is another Free People Intimately. This one was Numa Tags. Bralette. Another t-shirt for my son. Just, uh, another Cat and Jack. What are you? This is an H&M blouse. This is an American Eagle like mock neck sweater. These are actually just from last fall because I have something from this line. And they are amazing. These are the Amazingly Soft. or are Amazingly Soft. I have a sweater from this and seriously, they really are amazing. This is a little big for me being a large. I kind of wish it was a medium. I, this is like my favorite color. Um, this is just a Universal Threads purse. It did have a little stain. I'm going to wipe it with a baby wipe and see if I can get that off. And this is another thing I haven't sent in the thread up that I was going to try out and see if it um, sells pretty quickly. It's a Victoria's C Secret pink like sweater thing. It did have like a stain on it that I gotta get off though. Let's see, this is a Chico sweater. Ooh, this one was pretty cool. Although it has horrible wash wear. So I gotta figure out what to do about that. If I can't fix it, I'll keep it, but it's a Britney Spears t-shirt, which, you know, there's a lot. She's, like, really in the news right now, so I thought that'd be cool. This is a Dash by the Kardashians blazer. I have never sold this. What's, kind of, what's a blazer jacket name? But All right, that, oh, and I found a penny at the bins. So that is my bins haul. I definitely think I'll make my $60 back plus some. So I was pretty excited to get to go today. Clearly I need to go more often because, you know, the cost of goods is so much lower, especially for how much you get. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Bye guys. Oh my goodness.